And today I'm going to be reviewing the Wet n Wild Fergie Center Stage Collection Take on the Day Mattifying Powder in Pedestal. It's a mouthful of a name, but it's worth it. Now, this product is part of the new Fergie 2014 Center Stage Collection. And this product, when you first open it up, will activate a bottom portion to open up. And inside you have a little Fergie Wet n Wild um, applicator. So it does come with an applicator. I just want to show you that. But you can close this while this is still in the open position. Now this is all the product that you receive. You can see it's really, really a thin amount if you consider it like that. You only get that much. But this product is very, a very silky smooth product, very soft to the touch. It is uh, sheer. You're not going to see it. I can swatch it from here to next week. You're not going to see it. The magic of this product is when you apply it over your foundation or you apply it over your, your contour. Okay, let me explain. This morning I put on my foundation and then I put on a little bit of um, uh, darker BB cream to contour here I put on a little bit of highlighter and then I set that all with this powder so if you have a liquid that you're putting on your face and you want to set it and you want to mattify it this is the product that you would put on top of it due to no, the illuminating the nature of this product it will add a slight shimmer to a blush that's already shimmery um, for example if you're using the Revlon photo ready skin lights product which is a liquid and you add this on top it'll really bring out those shimmery particles and the same goes for any other liquid that you may be putting on the skin and once you put on blush it may add just a slight extra illumination to whatever blush or bronzer or whatever you're putting on top of it so if you're not a fan of a look that's a little bit um I guess luminous I wouldn't say sparkly but if you um, I'm wearing it today and if you don't like this kind of shine look then you may not like this product but if you like that light reflecting look that light hitting you the right way look then this is your product. Now I use the oval 6 brush from the MAC Masterclass collection but you can definitely use the little applicator it's very soft it'll pick up enough a decent amount. Now you don't want to put too much of this on your skin or because as you see when I do a when I go like this too many times I kind of get like a white I get a white powdery look even when I rub it. So you definitely don't want to overdo this on your face, otherwise you're going to look very powdery. But if you happen to do it over like too much, then just spray um, either a, a fine mist of water or facial spray or um, what you call it, or put some Fix Plus on your face and it'll definitely stop you from looking super, super powdery. Now I've been told that this is a dupe for a NARS product, but I'm not into NARS too much, so I can't tell you which one it is, but if you know which one I'm talking about, then this would be your, then this would be your dupe. Now the great thing about this is it's not just a plain white, it also has slight reflections of silver in it and the fo the camera's not picking it up and you'll only see it slightly on your face it just picks up light it's not something you actually will see in a swatch I mean when I first got this product you can see it in the photograph and I'll show you that at the end but when you're in the light it just allows the light to hit your face just right and just perfectly and that's what I love about this product mattifies ooh mattifies, sets your foundation or whatever cream you have on your face, and has light reflecting particles in it so that you really always look radiant. You always look like light is hitting you just the perfect way. For a drugstore item, this is pretty much a really great deal. This is about $5 in a lot of drugstores. Um, it's a new product. I think it's a long time coming. We should have had products like this for a while. It's definitely very smooth. I'm wearing it today. My face feels very smooth. My face doesn't feel um, caked on. It doesn't feel like it's heavy. It, it doesn't come off. It, it lasts pretty much the duration of my makeup. Whatever products I have underneath it, however long my foundation would last, that's how long this will last. So if you're using a long lasting foundation and you put this on top, it'll just pretty much work really harmoniously together. This also works over the Wet n Wild foundations, Rimmel foundations. It really doesn't matter what brand you're using if you would like to mattify it. This is your product. I like to put this on before I put on my blush and my bronzer. But again, I like to put it on over my creams, but under my other powders if that makes sense but this would also be great if you're putting on a cream shadow and you need to set it a little bit this is also good for that and it also helps to mattify lipstick slightly if you put just a very little bit on so it's a multi-use product and you know how much you guys know how much I love multi-use products if you've been watching my videos you know what I mean anyway thank you so much for watching I will include a swatch and a really well I'll try to include a swatch because like I said it applies sheer. I'll try to um, and I'll show you the picture of it so you can see the light reflecting particles when it was brand new because it's the only way you can really see it. Thank you so much for watching and please follow me on Instagram. I'm Recycled Stardust.